Okay, in this video, we're going to sort a list based on a custom sort order. So the custom sort order is based on this list here, which is based on the average score that each of our players has achieved. So you can see over here, this list, which is a version of the original list, is now sorted in this order. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a single formula solution for this and we are going to use various functions to achieve it. And this is the final formula that we're going to create. So you can see I'm using functions such as vstack and hstack, sort by and sort, let and unique. And also I'm using more familiar functions such as xmatch and average if. So heads up here, a lot of these functions are only available in the newer versions of Excel. Okay, so your first step is to put your data in an Excel table. So to do that, click anywhere in the data, go to insert table, or use this shortcut key control T. Then you just need to click on okay here. You'll get a table design tab on your ribbon and you need to give the table a name. So I'll call this player scores, I cannot have a space in a table name, so I've used an underscore. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is create the table that calculates the average score for each player. Now to get the unique player names, I can use the unique function. And I need to use the array argument here. So which range of cells on my spreadsheet do I need to extract unique values from, that's the player column. So I'll close the bracket. Then I need to work out the average score of each of those players. So I'm using average if, the range is the list of players. The criteria is this spilled array of unique names. So h3 hash, hash refers to the entire spilled array of results there and average range is the scores. So I close the bracket and I press enter. Now I always want these player names to be sorted in descending order of average score. Now they are at the moment, but if I change Bill's first score to 10,000, you can see that it's not automatically doing that at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is combine these two formulas, unique and average if, into one formula, and then sort by average score. Now, first step is to cut this formula. And to join the two formulas together, I'm going to use a function called hstack, because I want to horizontally stack them side by side, hstack. So array one, is unique, that's the leftmost array. And then array two can be my average if formula. Now, if I attempt to get Excel to accept that formula as it is, I get a warning about a circular reference. And the reason I'm getting a warning about a circular reference is because of this reference here, H3 hash, which is the cell that I'm creating this formula in. Now. Instead, what I'm going to do is use the let function. Now, what the let function will allow me to do, let's just take h stack out of the picture for now, is create a name for each of these formulas. You'll see how it works. So first of all, I'm going to create a name for unique. And these are unique player names. So I'll call it p, p for player, comma, so name one is p and name value one is the unique function. I'll bring this down on a new line because I think it makes it clearer. And then I need to give a name to the average if formula. So I'll call that s for score, comma, and I'll bring that down on a new line. So now p is equal to this formula and s is equal to this formula. So now to get over this circular reference, I can delete h3 hash. 
and instead refer to P, which is the list of unique player names, comma. So now I can use HStack to stack these two columns side by side. And HStack is quite simple now. It's P, so the unique names, and then to the right of that, S, which is the average scores. So if I close the bracket there for HStack and then for let, you can see it returns those two columns as one formula. But now I want to sort by the average score. So to do that, I can put HStack within sort. The array is returned by HStack. The sort index, well, I want to sort by the second column returned by HStack, the average score column. And the sort order, I want to be descending. Put a close bracket at the end, press enter. And there I have a list of players with the average score in descending order. So now what I want to do is I want to sort this table by this order of player names. Now, to help you understand what I'm doing, I'm going to use a function called xmatch. And what I want to do is look up the position of each of these player names in this player list. So my lookup value for each of these player names, comma, and my lookup array is this list of sorted player names, sorted based on average score. So I can just close the bracket there and press enter. So all this is doing currently is returning the position of these player names within this list. So for example, Barbara is the second name in this list and Bill is the first name in this list. Now I can use that sort order, so one, two, three, four, as the basis for the sort order for this table here. And the function that allows us to do this is called sort by. Now array is the array of cells that you want to sort. So that's my original player scores table, comma. And then by array one, so which array do you want to base your sort on? Well, that's returned by the X match function, comma. And I want to sort in ascending order, and that is the default, so I can just close the bracket. And you can see now that it is returning the names in the order that I've specified here in this list. Now I can even incorporate the column headings into this formula by using VStack, vertical stack, so my first array would be the column headings, comma, on top of the results of the sort by function. So let's see if this works. Bob, he scores 20,000. You can see now Bob is at the top of the list here, and this list has been sorted in this order of player name. Now I could go one step further. Say I didn't need to display these average scores. And instead, I want all of the work to be done in one formula. Now at the moment, this formula refers to H3 to H6 to get its custom sort order. What I'm going to do is take this let formula and paste it into this formula over this range reference. Now, just bring let down on a new line to make it easier to read. Now, currently, let is returning two columns, the names and then the average scores. But I only want to return the first of those columns, as in the names, because that's what sort by is using to sort this main list by. Now, to return only the first column, I can use a function called choose coals. Now, the first argument, choose coals is array, and that's currently returned by our let function. And then I can specify in col number one which column in that array I want to return. So I can say here, I want to return the first column. So if I close the bracket and press enter, I can now delete this table, and this formula will still work. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.